and I hope that in a few seconds it will start. So it shows me that life has started. So hello dear friends, my name is Irina and I'm glad to welcome you at the opening of Test IO Testing Cup 2022. Our Bagward School of Bug Hunting and Wizardry opened its doors to all testers. <laughs> First of all, let me congratulate quality assurance specialists on their professional holiday, Testers Day. I want to emphasize the importance of working in the field of testing. You help make our world better. I wish you success in your work and further development. I wish that the work brings you only satisfaction God. and and inspires you for future achievements. I wish you interesting project and pleasant colleagues. So let me introduce my colleagues today and our guests today. It is Marcus, head of Testio community. Hello Marcus. It is Evgenia, product team lead. Hi Evgenia. Daniel, testing as a service community manager. Yeah. David tester on Test.io platform and Denard, uh, he is community representative on our platform, this is my summon, sorry, <laughs> and Ivan, our team leader. Hello, Hello all, I'm glad to see you here. Well, and um, first of all, I want to introduce again Evgenia, uh, who is one of the formers of our community. And she started as a community manager, and now she has a new role at Testio product team lead. Also, she is a person who came up with and brought to life the idea of holding this perfect event, our testing cup. Hello again, Evgenia. Hello, Rina. Really nice to be here, and thank you for the kind introduction. Yeah, yes. I'm really, really happy to be here on the testing day, especially. So my congratulations as well to all the testers around the world, and I sign up to everything Irina said. You do make the world better, and happy testers day again. Oh, thank you very much. Evgenia, you're the organizer of the first testing cup of, on our platform. How is this idea to conduct a testing cup come about? Yes, yeah, so it was uh, in 2022, and back then it was me and Stefan who were the community team. And uh, yeah, it, it, it was a long way for us to organize our first uh, testing cup. And of course, it wasn't just me. I wasn't organizing it alone. I had the team as well uh, who were helping me. But we've, we've been discussing it. We had been discussing it uh, for a long time that we want to organize an event like this um, uh, with Stefan. And uh, I think it was a couple of years that we've been discussing this idea. And then in 2020, COVID hit, as you might remember, and a lot of events were canceled and people were feeling a little bit down and a lot of people were going through a very difficult emotional state and physical state and a lot of a lot of uh, businesses were closing, so we wanted to do something especially nice for a community, encourage our community and link them up a bit in the difficult time of COVID. And uh, since a lot of events were cancelled as well, especially in-person events, we thought this was the right thing to do and the right time to try it out and finally do organize an event uh, like this, a competition event, testing cup uh, for our community. We've known, we had known for a while that we have so many talents, so many testing talents in our community and um, people who are talented in different parts of testing. So we wanted to also for it to be a team competition where testers can form teams, they can work together and they can build relationships with each other and also break out of their testing routine where you test by yourself in tests and um, test in this sometimes repetitive test to do something else, to do something different and try uh, try themselves out in a new sphere. And that's why we come up with this idea of teams uh, competing against each other. So it was meant to be both a competitive event, but also a team building event where testers come together and they're part of this big initiative so they can find friends and start uh, friendships and find new acquaintances and have the shared memories and 
uh, most of all, of course, have fun and show themselves from different sides and angles. And yeah, it was uh, an interesting idea. And I'm so glad that we decided to, uh, to go with it. And uh, yeah, it's proven to be quite a success. And uh, I'm so glad that this year it's still happening and you're organizing it as well and have a very interesting theme. I've been uh, keeping up with the updates. I'm also very excited to see what comes out of it. (laughs) Yes, yes. Thank you very much. We are expecting a lot of fun Yeah, this year. (laughs) And and how many participants were um, during the first test test cup? How, How many? teams took particip- participation? Uh, so we uh, had around 100 applicants uh, with that formed uh, 17 teams. Uh, we also had a registration form. And to be honest, when we were organizing it, we had a little bit of a worry before you organize something as big as that, that, you know, testers might not find it as interesting as we hoped they would. And there would be just another event uh, nobody cares about. But when we started receiving applications, we were so happy. It was so heartwarming for us. And we're so happy and surprised to see how many testers were actually really enthusiastic about it. And we received more teams, team applications than we prepared for, (laughs) to be honest. So what we had to do is we had to organize pre-rounds, the round that we didn't plan from the beginning. Uh, in order to accommodate all the teams that wanted to participate. Well, thank you very much for such an interesting story. <laughs> yeah, and mm-hmm. Evgenia, maybe you have some advice for our participants this year? Yes, sure. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the most important advice for me is, of course, to have fun, <laughs> because yes. this is why I, I think uh, also you, Irina, would agree with me. This is why we're organizing it. It's because we want you to have fun. We want you to do something different uh, in your testing routine, but also be open to uh, friendships and uh, finding new connections with your fellow testers, but also express your creativity. This is a great way to express your creativity when you're creating team names and providing missions. And um, I know that you can express your creativity in your testing life, of course, in when, when you can find creative bugs and for usability suggestions, but this is a very good way to do it and show another side of yourself and dig into this creative part that um, I know from previous experience that you all have. So please have fun, uh, find new friends, enjoy every moment, suck it all in, and I'm sure you'll have fun. And uh, the second advice that I would have is to find a way to work as a team. So from the experience that I had um, in the very first testing up the teams that were that managed to move forward, they showed a very strong teamwork and very strong connection between the team members. So as captains of teams, I would advise to organize some team calls before where you can have some ice breaking exercises and do some team building and learn about each other, learn about each other's strengths and weaknesses. And this will also help you coordinate and plan and achieve the best results possible. So that would be two advice, uh, two pieces of advice that I'm, I would give is have fun, be open to new experiences and try to work as a team. Oh, yeah, I absolutely agree with you, Evgenia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And, and then let me pass the word to Marcus. Uh, he joined Testio uh, as a tester and for now has been leading our community team for more than a year. How are you doing, Marcus? How are you feeling? Are you excited about this event? Hi, Irina. Hi, everyone else. Uh, hi, dear listeners. Um, yes, I'm feeling good today after a week of being sick, so I'm glad I made it um, back in time to, to this event. Um, I, I was really looking forward to it all week, to be honest, and of course, longer than that. Um, and first of all, I want to say thank you, Irina, for working so hard on this. I know how, how many hours you've worked on this the previous weeks and how difficult it is because it's the first time you you do it. So um, really thankful for, for, this, um, for this contribution. Uh, to all our testers, I want to say also from my side, happy Testers Day. Um, as a former tester myself, I uh, I know how you work, how much you work, uh, and the, the challenges you face in every day's work. So, um, yeah, this is a day for you 
guys and uh, it's good that it's on a friday so time to celebrate i would say just before the weekend yeah um talking about previous cups maybe i well remember the last cups and um they were exciting they had some fun elements in it uh, we had a lot of teams like Evgenia already mentioned um, i also remember i was a judge before in one of the years um back when I was still a TL and not uh, part of the uh, community, the, the core community team. And so it uh, it was a lot of fun and you wouldn't believe how much is going on in the background that you don't see. So uh, yeah, quite exciting. And maybe we reveal some of that in some of the future events. Oh yeah. Um, I would have some advice for you guys if you want. Yes, so what sure. I've noticed as a judge is um, sometimes the bug report, the bugs you found or that were found, they were really good. Um, they were creative, they weren't standard bugs, but sometimes the quality was a little bit lacking because the, the last piece was missing. Basically, it wasn't reviewed one more time by somebody who has a good eye for it. Um, and this would be my advice for you. Identify the team member that is really good at writing perfect bug reports and have this person review all your submissions before the end of the of the round. That can really make a difference. You don't want to lose any points because of this, believe me. So, um, and another tip would be to really recognize the talents and the weaknesses in your team. Like Evgenia said, you know, really work as a team. Five great talents may produce good results, but good teams can compete with them and become be even better than that. So good teamwork, I fully agree here, is the key to success. Yes. Thank you very much. It's very valuable advice from you, Marcus. Thank you. Um, so this year, a few teams uh, formed with EPOM testers participate uh, in the competition. Uh, as I understand, uh, it is second time when EPOM testers participate in our testing cup. And I want to introduce Daniel. Daniel is testing as a service community manager, and he is the representative of EPOM testers here. Hi, Daniel. How are you today? Hi, hi, Irina. Thank you. All cool, all good, you know. This is a day for me become like a national or international holiday. Also in Kazakhstan, we I just uh, meet uh, a big piece of cake that related to this uh, great holiday, the testers day. And I also congratulate all the testers, all of the palms, the testio and freelancers that we work with such a great holiday. Oh, thank you very much. I don't have a cake. It's not a pity. I, I, need, to, I need to prepare. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Daniel, what do you expect from this event? How, how do you think? You know, my expectations and uh, that I find out, it's uh, first of all, the organizer team. If it's my first testing cup and I heard before that it's a great and cool event, and I was wondering about the creativity to find out such kind of very interesting topic and the, the theme of the Harry Potter, how to do, how it's a, it's a fairy tale, magic, etc. And to combine with the IT and bugs, etc. That's a really cool thing. And um, I think it's a, for me, it's just a kind of uh, new experience. And I already met a new colleagues inside the pump and uh, help them to join this great cup, this great event. And for me, it's a, you know, it's a big honor to be like a small bridge and to make these great connections among um, testers all over the world. Yeah, I agree. I was so surprised that uh, testers uh, in IPAM from all over the world, from different locations, they decided to participate and I'm really happy <laughs> about it. And uh, I also wanted to, to ask you, what did you learn maybe um, during the process of preparing for this testing cup? For preparing the testing cup, it's a big work of uh, many people. Uh, as uh, Marcos mentioned on the background, it's a uh, work done, very great work. And I think um, like um, it's uh, very important 
from users and for the players that will enjoy the cup to give after the cup will uh, take team uh, to give the feedback to the organizing team that's why uh, the next cup in the next year uh, will be more uh, interesting more entertainment more fun and more connections will build more connections among our community Oh, yeah. Well, are you expecting that we will have such testing cup in future also? I think the, I mean, this uh, cup, as is, is I waited it for this year, you know, it's a kind of, for me, me it's a great event. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope we, it will be just a great milestone in the, our community, in the Testaya community and we will get uh, great feedback and the next year more partners will join it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you, Daniel. So today David joined our stream. Hello, David. Uh, David is our tester from... Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, he's from Peru. I like your background <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, he... uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> He joined uh, Testio platform four years ago, and David participated in the testing cup last year. So I think that he has a lot to say about the competition, and uh, he also could give some advice for our current participants. So, David, how yeah. was your previous testing cup? Yes. Uh, well, thank you for the invitation for this event. I am really, I'm really grateful to be part of this. It's very important for me because I was I I am I am a tester since 2018 since since September. So it's a great experience for me now. Uh, well, last year the testing talk was very interesting because uh, first of all we had a, a gather a team. So uh, to to do this we had a, a special Discord channel for looking for team members. Uh, well, our team was from almost five continents. Uh, also, we had meetings. Uh, we have been asked to use a special channel uh, to archive our communication. Uh, we, also, we also have a private channel ourselves, of course, mm -hmm. in this course. Uh, we had a great uh, support from Sorica. She's working now more deeply in the platform, I think. But at the time, she was very helpful because uh, she was very, uh, very, re she was eager to help us in every aspect of the cup. Yes. Well, uh, our team was from over all five continents. For example, we had uh, SR, he's from India. My name is David, I'm uh, from Cusco, Peru. Uh, Sanin from Turkey, from Venezuela, uh, Azul, and uh, and other two members from Nigeria and India. Wow. Uh, well, my learnings from this cup was 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 the five more five or six learnings I had. First, it was uh, necessary to have a backup member because sometimes uh, in, the, in the first round I I wasn't able to to join, so a backup member was very important. So no. Uh, the Lord of the Rings team was a motivation to create a group logo and a special name for us. Uh, well, during the rounds, we had uh, very helpful support from Sorica. And, and also the three main main aspects of the evaluation of the, of the cup, quality, value, and diversity was important because we had to think as a team, how to improve our quality and uh, and our value of the each back report. Uh, well, my advice to to uh, to testers now right now in this cup will be to have a variety of devices during the round. For example, one is one tester is more experienced in one device, so I would recommend to to one tester. Uh, focus on one device and other, other device, no? Uh, to have a communication inside team, Discord is very important. Well, uh, uh, 
also I I would ask the the most experienced tester to review every bug report of the other tester because it will help the team to have a better result because uh, as Marcus mentioned before, uh, it's very important to have a very, very big or very good detail, detail back report to to achieve better results at the end, I think. Well, my final recommendations for the tester would, would be most important to have fun and get together to know each other and communicate better because it's very important in this club because it's not about uh, only a tester, it's about a team. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. And do you like to work in team? Yes, because uh, more, uh, more of, of, from my experience, I usually test alone. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I usually test website yes. on, my, on my computer, on my laptop, my PC. But now, as a team, I had the opportunity to, to meet other people, uh, like-minded like people like me. So for me, it was motivating because uh, I knew that there were other people like me working as me at the same time, the same time as the same type of of background. And I really was, I was really happy of this, yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank uh, you. So let me pass the world to Dennard. He is our community representative. And yeah, hello. And he's an active oh. member of our platform and, and of our Discord community. Last year, he also participated in Testing Cup. And I hope he also can share useful information with you. Hello again. Hello, how are you? I'm Hello, fine. Dual. Yeah. Uh, for our team, yes, I was in the testing cup last year, and our team was mainly from Albania. We we built the team with Albanian because uh, we thought that communication would be easier and uh, the result would be greater. But uh, when we built the team, we didn't didn't have a recovery tester, so. When the first round arrived, uh, we, I myself didn't have that much time to participate in the first round. Recovery tester wasn't there, so uh, we didn't uh, do great in the first round. But I think it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. We built uh, great uh, relationships with the other testers in the team. Uh, I think the testing cup uh, is also a great experience to to have because there you can learn you can uh, create great reports as marcus said before you have to be very detailed because if you don't be very detailed you're gonna lose points uh, and that's uh, the main thing to do in the testing cups you have to do a report find a bug and that report should be over detailed so you don't lose points and uh, that's the main thing to do, I think. Uh, the other thing to do is uh, to, to have testers in the team that have uh, other devices than you. Because in uh, many devices, many bugs are not the same. You can find a bug in iPhone, for, uh, for example. You can find another bug in Android. And you can find another bug in Windows. So the main... Uh, the main thing to do in the testing cup is to create a team that have different devices because different devices create different bugs. So you will find more bugs and you will, uh, you will have more time to make more detailed uh, reports, as Marcus mentioned before. Uh, that is my experience in the last year in the testing cup. And that is my advice for the uh, testing cup uh, competitions in this year. Thank you very much. And would you like to participate maybe as team member in future? Yes, I, I think uh, because this year I can, because uh, I have uh, personal arrangements. But I think uh, next year I will probably be in a testing cup because it is a really great experience, as I mentioned before. And you there, there you can build uh, stronger relationships. 
uh, in the last year, uh, as David mentioned, I also built a strong uh, relationship with Zorica, with, which is a great person, and I really appreciate uh, that relationship. And it, is, uh, it was all because of the testing cup. Yes, it's great. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing us. Uh, and uh, also on this call, we have Ivan. Uh, he is a team leader on our Testio platform, and he is testing cup judge for the second time. So he also can share his impressions on previous competitions and give advice from the point of view of judge. Hello, Ivan. How are you? Oh, we can't hear you. Wanda, yeah. Oh, the mic. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think it, yes, yes. Yeah, I muted it for hot. Yeah. Hello, everyone, once again. Thanks for inviting me. I am also very excited about upcoming testing cup, and I am waiting for it with anticipation. Yeah, me too. And what is your general impression about last testing cup? How you feel? Uh, okay, yes, it was the first time when I participated in la last year testing cup. I participated as a judge, and uh, without doubt, it was really interesting to watch on how teams uh, were performed and how the performance uh, improved from round to round. Uh, with every next round, results uh, and bug reports were better and better, and it was really nice to see. I really enjoyed to review bugs of final round. It was so good findings. Uh, all the reports were of the highest quality, and all the bugs were very interesting. So I expect this year it will be at least not worse or maybe even better uh, results that we will see in this year testing cup. Oh, I'm sure in it just because we have a lot of teams this year. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> yes. And uh, how do you think, what advantage uh, do you see in teamwork from the team leader point of view? Mm. Okay, yeah, as, as team leader, it uh, will be interesting for me to see how our testers work in teams. And because uh, working in a team, it is always more responsibility than working alone. Uh, and for this reason, I also expect to see um, much better uh, bugs, much better bug, bug reports of the high quality. Uh, mm, also, it is it would be very interesting to see how testers will organize the team work, how they will share areas for testing, to, and which devices will every tester use for testing in order to provide the best coverage for testing. And also, I hope after testing cup ends, we still will see the, uh, the same good bug reports as we, I hope, will see in testing cup. And, uh, and in overall, I expect that after this testing cup, we will see uh, better bugs from our testers. And Yes, I agree on our platform. Yes, of course. I hope so yes. too. Yeah. And maybe you uh, can give also advices for our participant this year. Yes, there were already many advices and I agree with most of them. I also want to say that the teamwork is a key in testing cup and every for the best result, every team must get familiar with our testing cup evaluation criteria. This document was shared in Discord channel and it is really important to read to every point in this document and adjust the testing process according to these rules. Um, 
as it is stated in this document, there are three main criteria according to which team performance will be evaluated. These are diversity, quality, and value. Uh, in order to get high diversity score, um, all features of website uh, must be well tested, uh, and maximum variety of devices must be used. For example, diversity score will be low if majority of bugs will be submitted on desktop only, or if most of the bugs will be related to the same feature. That's why we need to, uh, our teams must to cover all the features with all the devices they have. Next, uh, for high quality score, as it is, was already mentioned by every speaker, uh, we should follow all the academy requirements and follow all the rules. For this purpose, all testers must refresh the knowledge of such academy articles as uh, bug report requirements, bug report attachments, uh, formatting bug reports, and our articles dedicated to functional content and visual bugs. Uh, for example, don't forget that every content and visual bug must contain screenshot. This is very important in this testing cup. And next, to get a good value score, a score uh, all the bugs must be of high importance. Interesting bugs that are particularly specific to the tested website will, be, will add a big, big plus to it your score and while submitting some trivial not important bugs will not bring any additional points to the team and in overall remember the rule that quality and significance of the bugs are much more important than, than quantity every trade tester must try to do his or her best to bring the best result for the whole team and it is also important that the bad performance of only one team member may lead to the failure of the whole team. Yes, I absolutely agree. Such available advice is, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Everybody should read rules and articles and KB page. Don't forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, well, uh, for now, I would like uh, to share maybe some statistics from previous competition. Uh, let me show you a little presentation. I will switch my screen for now. Well, one second, please. So, I hope you see it. <laughs> Let's start. So, uh, during previous testing cup, eight teams participated last year. And uh, this tester cup is uh, third. Uh, the tester cup uh, takes place for third time this year. Uh, well, and as you may see on my presentation, I hope you see it really. <laughs> uh, Yes, that White Council team are our champions. Well, I also want uh, to share some statistics about how many bugs were submitted during uh, the first round. Uh, during the first round, uh, 186 bugs were sub submitted. It is during two hours. Could you imagine this amount? And the big, the biggest amount uh, of bugs submitted by one one team was 32. 32 bugs in two hours. I'm really, really amazed about this. So, uh, you may imagine how productive was the teamwork, and why the console team won after a tough fight. This year, our tournament will take place from 16th of September until 7th of October. I'm showing uh, the schedule for now. Uh, and uh, there will be three rounds. And 
uh, third place tour and final tour. Uh, the duration of rounds uh, is three hours, except finals. Uh, and before each round, all teams will receive two time slots to select one that is more convenient for them. Okay, and after every round, uh, our wonderful judges will have time to estimate team's progress according to evaluation criteria. So, let me introduce our judges for today. Okay, it is Ivan, you know Ivan. Uh, he is a member of Order of Bagenix and Professor of Defense against the Dark Bugs and Bugwarts. It is Terry, he is Professor of Spells and Bug Findings at our school. And every bug in, in the area feared by him. Miguel, he is Professor of Care of Magical Bugs and Forester in Bugwarts School. And he also a member of Order of Bagenics. And Charlie, he is one of the most important and famous bug fighters who fought against this bug and a lot of prisoners of Basque Caban caught personally by him. And I also want to mention uh, that all our judges, they are team leaders on our platform. I want to wish our judges patience and straight to judge fairly and honestly. Thank you very much for your work. And now I want to switch to one of the most important parts of our invitation event. It is Teams introduction. This year so many testers from all around the world decided to participate. So I will show you the teams. The first team is Bugs Shinobis. Participants are from Turkey and from Nigeria. As the reason for participation, they mentioned that want to prove the skills and also to make a name for each and every one of themselves on our great platform. Also, they plan to take home the gold. So, I wish you good luck. The second team is the Roosters. The team members all came from Vietnam and they are happy to have the opportunity to gain experience by participating in this competition. They hope they will have excellent performance in this testing hub. I am sure in it. Next team is Chippy Baxters. The captain is from India. He has been a part of our platform for seven years and last year he was on the third place. His team was on the third place during our competition. The team wants to participate in testing cup because they would like to gain experience in different testing methods, ways to find defects. They would like to reach finals also. Good luck! Our next team is Hantaru. Participants are from Brazil and Kiev, Ukraine. They want to participate to learn and involve the techniques as testers as well as, as socialize with more different testers and finally improve skills working in a team. I'm really sure in it. Next team, Buggy Hallows. It is an IPAM team from castle of Leopolis, Lviv, Ukraine. All the team are QA engineers with different levels and specializations, but they have common wish to find all bugs, test everything, deliver issue-free software, and in other words, to make some magic. And they are here to win. Hi. Our next team is Wizards Council. Team consists of five unbeatable finally trained wizards. They are from Albania, India and Ukraine. And they are our champions. They are the team 
who believes that there is no point in competing if you don't want to be the best. And now it's time to defend your prized possession. Good luck, wizards! Our next team is Inverts Bug Hunters. They all are Indians. They are interested in finding bugs and uh, that is the reason why they are currently on our pl platform. They think uh, that the tester cup would give them the opportunity to showcase the skills in finding bugs, writing quality reports, supporting the team, meeting customers' needs and overall growing as a community. Our next team is Gryffindor Magicians. One more IPAM team. And also all participants are from India. They told me that they are the best bug finding magicians in IPAM. And it is their debut uh, in such competition and they would like to contribute and to win this Bugwards testing cup. I wish you good luck. Our next team is Potter.io, one more team from IPAM. They are a bunch of random QAs assembled to celebrate magic and tester day. Originally, they are all from Belarus, but for now they are located in different countries. So they are an international team now. The main goal of participation is to have a great fun and time together. But no, no, they want to win, of course. Our next team is Bugaga Kedavra. This team contains only girls from Georgia and Belarus. They are a fun bunch of testers of different levels of testing experience from young and bright-eyed juniors to major and cool-headed seniors. As a reason of participation in the testing cup, they mentioned possibility to check the testing abilities against other testers and to have as much fun as possible. I wish you good luck and I really hope that we all will have much fun as possible. Our next team, Testio Bug 700, is team from Nigeria. The aim is to be able to learn and acquire skills that can help them in the nearest future. Being inspired by great testers, they hope to show the best of themselves. Good luck, guys! Next team is Pikachu team. It is a team of five testers, all coming from Vietnam. They are eager to participate in Testing Cup, not only for prize, but also for an opportunity to compete against the best testers and to learn from them. This is also a chance for them to make new friends and to work as a team. I hope we all will have a lot of friends after this wonderful event. Next team is Goblet of Fire. Includes testers from Nigeria, Trinidad and Tobago and India. One of them wished to participate, I'm quoting, to, comple to complete my unfinished war. I would like to know what happened during previous competition. They also want to explore learn and take the challenge and they hope to win. Next team, Lords of Tests. Team members are from Romania, Nigeria. They think the team can win because bugs are bugs, no matter the rank on Testio, no matter where are you from, no matter what others think. Bugs are bugs and they will fight them because they are lords of tests. I wish you good luck. Next team, Fantastic Five from Ipam, Vietnam. They are in love with testing and bug hunting. The goal is to learn and improve the skills in testing through the competition. 
Good luck. Our next team is debuggers. The seven folks located in Ho Chi Minh and Da Nang, Vietnam. The Kane mission is to bring the quality to the products through testing service, and of course they had to win. And the last but not the least, Bug Hunters is a team from India. For now it contains three members and I hope that new members will, will join them soon. Testio is the daily part of life cycle and they are here to participate in testing cup and to hunt down to problematic bugs as the team name says bug hunters. I wish good luck for all the teams and I wish good games for all us. Also, I want uh, to tell a few phrases about prizes. <laughs> Each member of the third place team will receive paid annual VPN subscription. Each member of second place team will receive Android TV streaming device and each winner will receive TV IO streaming device and the title of Ultimate Testing Champion for one year. So let's backwards testing cup begins. I wish you good luck and good games. See you!